Home, the factories speeded up production in an effort to make good the shortage. The British armament industry wasn't yet geared for full war production. Great strides had been made since the time of Munich. More factories had been built, but still it wasn't enough. spring weather of 1940, Germany struck. The factories worked even more desperately to re-equip our fighting men. First to give us that equality on which our defence depended, and later superiority so that we might fight again on the soil of Europe. We never lost sight of our aim, the liberation of those nations that had fallen under Nazi domination. The debt we owe to factory workers is tremendous. So too is the debt we owe to Winston Churchill, who inspired us all to even greater efforts. More and more factories sprang up, more and more men and women undertook the vital business of making the tools to finish the job. Britain must be superior in arms and equipment, on land, on sea and in the air. That was the workers' resolution, and how magnificently they fulfilled it. Britain has travelled a long way since Dunkirk. Days beaten and defenceless then, strong, well-armed and resolute now. This transformation could never have been achieved without the determined cooperation of the British workers. Without their labour, it would never have been possible. It is their hard work which has put us so far on the way to victory. Their endurance will have preserved freedom for the generations to come. Now it is your turn to set the seal on their endeavours. Help to maintain the crescendo of attack and at the same time prepare for the future, a victorious and peaceful future.